Imagine waking up to find your car won't start, not because of a dead battery, but because a foreign government decided to shut it down. Sounds like science fiction? Think again. The US government just dropped a bombshell that could change the future of driving as we know it. Chinese cars. They might be off American roads for good, but it's not only about cars from China. This new rule could impact every single vehicle on US roads. Let's break this down, starting with the basics. The US Commerce Department just proposed a rule that would effectively kick Chinese vehicles off American roads. But here's the kicker. It's not just about banning cars made in China. This rule targets something much more specific and potentially dangerous. Connected car technology. Now, you might be wondering, what's the big deal about connected cars? Well, pretty much every new car these days is a connected car. It's got internet access, it's sharing data, and it's constantly communicating with other devices. Cool, right? Well, not when that tech could be used against us. The US government is worried that this connected car tech from China could be used for some pretty scary stuff. We're talking about foreign manipulation of vehicles connected to the internet and navigation systems. In other words, they're concerned that China could potentially control or spy on cars driving around in the US. But hold on, it gets even wilder. The Commerce Department says that in an extreme situation, a foreign adversary could shut down or take control of all their vehicles operating in the United States at the same time. Just imagine the chaos if every Chinese-made car in America suddenly stopped working or started driving erratically. It's like a scene from a dystopian movie, but it's a real concern for US officials. Now, you might be thinking, but I don't see that many Chinese cars on the road anyway. And you'd be right. There aren't a ton of Chinese-made cars or trucks being imported into the US right now. But here's where it gets interesting. This rule isn't just about keeping Chinese cars out. It's about keeping Chinese tech out of all cars on US roads. That means even if you're driving an American-made car, it could be affected by this rule. The proposal would force American automakers and other major car companies to remove key Chinese software and hardware from vehicles in the United States. So your Ford, Chevy, or Toyota might need a tech overhaul to comply with these new rules. Let's talk about the timeline. The government isn't planning to flip this switch overnight. They're giving automakers some time to adapt. The software prohibitions would kick in for the 2027 model year. That means cars rolling off the assembly line in a few years will need to be China tech free. For hardware, they're looking at the 2030 model year or January 2029. But it's not just China in the crosshairs. This ban would also apply to vehicle software and hardware produced by Russia. And get this, it could be extended to other US adversaries in the future. So this is potentially just the beginning of a major shift in how we think about the tech in our cars. Now, you might be wondering about self-driving cars. After all, that's where a lot of this connected car tech comes into play. Well, this proposed rule would put the brakes on testing of self-driving cars on US roads by Chinese automakers. So if you were hoping to see a Chinese-made autonomous vehicle cruising down your street anytime soon, you might be out of luck. But let's zoom out for a second. This isn't happening in isolation. It's part of a bigger picture of rising tensions between the US and China, especially when it comes to technology and trade. Just this month, the Biden administration locked in some serious tariff hikes on Chinese imports. We're talking about a 100% duty on electric vehicles and higher taxes on EV batteries and key minerals. So what does all this mean for you, the average driver? Well, in the short term, probably not much. You're not going to wake up tomorrow and find your car doesn't work because of Chinese tech. But in the long term, it could mean big changes in the car market. The cars you buy in the future might have different tech under the hood. And if you were thinking about importing a cool Chinese EV you saw online, that might not be an option anymore. But here's something to think about. Is this really about national security? Or is it about protecting the US auto industry? Some critics argue that this move is less about cybersecurity and more about keeping Chinese competition out of the American car market. After all, Chinese automakers have been making big strides in electric vehicle technology. Could this be a way to slam the brakes on their expansion into the US market? So there you have it, a potential game changer for the auto industry, all wrapped up in a package of national security concerns and international trade tensions. But here's the thing, 
This story is far from over. The government is giving the public 30 days to comment on the proposal. And you can bet that automakers, tech companies, and maybe even foreign governments will have plenty to say.